welcome to episode two of No Contest Hawaii. The winner was massive, so we had to split it into two episodes. Last episode, we crowned Pipe Masters champs and John Florence and Tyler Wright. On this episode, we'll meet the next pipe star, Moana Jones. We'll also meet Hawaii's next generation of thoroughly padded down, helmeted young Hellraisers. And with Van's new digital triple crown format, we'll see some of the best surfing of the season at Sunset Pipe and Haleiwa. This is episode two of No Contest Hawaii. With the Sunset Pro two weeks out, surfers were split between staying through the holidays and returning in January. It's the tree, the presents, everything. Love it. If you're home... If I was here for Christmas, I'll, it doesn't matter how good the waves are, it's just not a thing. Are you a Christmas guy? No. You don't love Christmas? Yeah, I do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> but we put the, the Christmas tree up right day after... I hear you're gonna be baffled. Day after Halloween. We've done like five or six Christmases here. Really? Yeah. When do you put Christmas lights up at your house? Oh, this is super white trash, but mine were up all year. <laughs> but they weren't turned on all year. Because <laughs> everyone always says that Christmas Day is like always one of the best days to start out here. Like there's always a Christmas Day session somewhere. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be pumping this year too. On January 6th, the Hawaiian government announced the suspension of surf competitions indefinitely, forcing the WSL to cancel the Sunset Open. Meanwhile, spiking COVID-19 cases in California met the postponement of the newly added Santa Cruz Pro. We took the opportunity to go and get to know some of Hawaii's next generation and a young female future pipe master. So one chick's name, Manoa, Moana, Manoa? Moana. Moana, like the movie. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Moana. Moana Jones, born and raised North Shore. It's really cool that girls like her are specializing in some of these heavier waves. Her years starting to add up at Pipeline are starting to pay off. She's been ripping up Rockies and out here for years, but yeah. I mean, it seems like in the last couple winters, like she's gotten like more barreled than a lot of guys out here. Yeah. More barreled to me, for sure. The boys out of pipe have this vibe that is so strong that you can literally feel it from, like, the beach. That I'm like, oh, yeah, they're out there. It's really intimidating going out to pipe. I think everybody could say that, like, for the first couple times you go out when you're a kid on North Shore, because it's like, this is a proving place. Like, this is a proving ground. Like, if you make yourself look like a kook out here, everyone will know. The paddle out, your heart's just, like, pounding. You're just like, oh, no. Like, what am I getting myself into? Then you finally get out there and you see like all these like pipe specialist guys out there. So I mean, I looked at this wave my whole life growing up. Yeah, you kind of just come down here and watch the pipe masters. And I would look at it and I was like, I'm never gonna surf out there. But then we would surf rock piles, we'd surf like logs left, we'd surf Katie Shore Rig, we'd surf like literally every wave that barrels on North Shore. So what like made me want to go out and surf pipe was like my kind of like my best friends, like Makana and Baron and all them, they were like all going out to surf pipe. I was like probably 13 or something, maybe 12. I was probably 12. My first wave, I like thought it was good, and I dropped in and just nose pearled and just like went over the falls so badly, and I was like. I was like, I hope nobody saw that. Uncle Derek, we like always know how much he loved Pipe. Like he like loved Pipe. And Pipe loved him. Like they had like this connection that like I don't think anybody else like had. Just the sweetest, nicest, like super humble, the absolute best ever. Like, last season, like literally every time I came out, he was out. He was, like, always out. I don't know who's going to be able to, like, put in more time than Uncle Derek put in. It would be crowded, and he'd be like, are you getting waves out here? And I'm like, no, Uncle, I'm not getting any waves. Are you? He's like, no, but don't worry. 
I'm gonna make sure you catch a wave. You come sit next to me. He gave me more waves than anyone's ever given me at Pipe, for sure, Uncle Derek. Still hard, I'm like trying not to cry right now. But it was, it's really hard, like coming down here and like seeing all of this. It was just like pretty much incredible watching him surf out here. The boys just go out and they just learn on their own. They took so many beatings out here, they definitely all paid their dues. So I'm like, if I want to earn my spot, I got to do it the same way they all did it. What do you think about this next generation of kids from Hawaii? Right now, there's a lot of hot new suspects coming up, for sure. <laughs> they're gnarly. The next generation is going to be really gnarly. The next generation coming up, they're lighting a little fire. There's some little rippers out there, for sure. They're coming up, and they're coming in hot. They're coming in hot. I mean, these kids are putting it on the line. They're out there when it's big. Full yeah. charging, full like, force. I don't know. There's charge, and they all wear helmets and shit. They're like, don't go a they're being smart, they're wearing helmets, even if they don't want to wear helmets, they're in float suits. Like, I'm padded up, I'm going. I think float vests at Pipeline or helmets or both is a great idea. What's it like seeing the next generation oh out there? Oh my gosh, I wasn't doing that when I was that age. It's pretty tough, like they're gonna be next level pretty soon. I'm uh, a grandma. <laughs> I feel uh, old. There's too many to really mention. Yeah. Really, I mean, there's so many good kids. Like even coming from West Oz, you won't see like, we got like really good waves, but yeah. why isn't there as many kids like charging it? Taking huge waves and it makes me feel like, okay, I gotta go push myself a little more. These girls are 12. So there's 12 year olds out there. 100%, maybe younger. They're all competing and competitive against each other, which is making them so good and gonna raise the bar. I like similar waves as little Groms. That's just where surfing is going, and it's awesome for women surfing, and... I'm like a Groms worst nightmare. <laughs> yeah, I just think it's good all around. I'm gonna snake them now, because I'm old. <laughs> I'll pal around a little kid for sure. I just wanna make my money, surf well, let people get the hell off the surf before they get on, because... I'm gonna get smoked. Yeah, we were talking about baby Steve the other day. Like, those kids have been doing Wim Hof since they were like eight years old. Yeah, his grandpa used wow. to surf it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it. Did it. Grandpa Cal, yeah. yeah. One of the first guys to surf it. Yeah, I paddled out the other day. I was like, hey, Steve, how's Jaws? Yeah, pretty fun. And I was like, oh, his kid, man. <laughs> A triple crown is widely considered the closest thing to a world title. But for Hawaiians, being placed alongside icons like Sonny Garcia, Derek Ho, and Andy Irons, it's almost just as coveted a spot. This year, Vans shifted to a fully digital format, with surfers competing for clips of their best waves at Haleiwa Sunset and Pipe throughout the waiting period. Even more significant was the re-inclusion of women at all three locations. In 97, women were added to the Triple Crown, but they'd been sidelined for unknown reasons after Stephanie Gilmore's win in 2012. With Sunset canceled, the Hawaiian defending world champ quickly shifted her focus to joining Steph alongside fellow world champions with Triple Crowns in their trophy cases. The women haven't had a Triple Crown to compete in for over 10 years. And being a Hawaiian, it's always been a dream of mine to be able to have that opportunity. You know, growing up as a Hawaiian surfer, I mean, that's just a coveted title to really show that you've proven yourself at some of the most challenging waves in the world, but on the North Shore of Oahu. It'd be cool to be recognized with, with some of the best surfers in the world.
to have the opportunity to compete for events, Triple Crown is one thing, and to maybe win one day would be an honor. Van's new digital format definitely lit a fire under everyone. And after a year without crowning a world champ, it's no surprise that Carissa Moore and John Florence surfed with something to prove. While Moana Jones won at Pipe and Jack Robinson won fan voting, John Florence and Carissa Moore dominated the digital event. Six weeks on the North Shore. Done, dusted. That's a wrap. So that's it for No Contest Hawaii. We'll see you guys at the next leg on tour. Thanks for coming along. Take five. Take <laughs> That was nice, Jack. Yeah, 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 you heard Jack. Jack. <laughs> you heard Jack. Through You'll feel speaker. it if I lay one. <laughs> You'll feel it. It's going to be an earthquake. <laughs> Food. 